Today we're going to talk about the letting go technique by David Hawkins and go a bit deeper into it. So basically you have, if you're a human being, you have repressed emotions. What does this mean? If you're a fearful person, you have repressed fearful emotions. If you're someone who gets angry a lot, you have repressed anger. There are certain feelings that come up that are uncomfortable and because they're uncomfortable, we don't want to feel it. So when they come up, we try to escape it. And by trying to escape it, we keep them. Because energy that you have, the only way for it to come up is if you allow it to run out. And the letting go technique is basically you sit with the feeling, you let it be there and let it run out. So why is it that that works? Well, by being with a feeling and leaving it alone, it will dissipate. Because there's only a certain amount of it. Every feeling has a certain amount. If you're mad at someone and you sit with it, Eventually, if you're sitting and you're staring at it for long enough, it's gone because there's not enough left for it to continue. Same with fear, same with desire for something, same with any feeling you could think of, same with grief. If you cry for long enough, if you let a feeling be there for long enough, it's going to run out and then it's gone. But we don't want to do this way because it's uncomfortable. And is it some I believe people have that there's something I can do to not feel the feeling, to get rid of it. You can actually, how you get rid of it is you don't get rid of it, you let it run out. You let it stay for as long as it does. So one other way of describing it is if you have a lake and someone throws a rock in the lake and the rock makes the lake water ripple and you decide, I don't want the water to be rippling. So in this case, what's the fastest way to stop it from rippling? The fastest way to stop it from rippling is to sit on the bank and don't do anything. And then eventually the ripples fade off, the lake becomes calm once the disturbance goes for a while. But doing anything besides that would be like reaching into the water, moving around, trying to force it to stay still. It would be like putting your hand on the surface of the lake, messing about, trying to flatten it with your hand to create more ripples. Or you'd say yelling at the lake, you know, or grabbing, grabbing a crew, building some dam or something around it, which would just disturb it more. It's the same with the feeling. The quickest way to get rid of it is you leave it alone. Now, we're gonna talk about the things people do instead of leaving it alone. Let's say, you have an uncomfortable feeling, what do you do? One thing you do, try to do something outside to get rid of it. I'll give you two examples of this. Someone makes you really mad, they piss you off, they say something. What do you do? You walk up to them, you fight them, you punch them, you yell at them, you go around to all your friend and talk about it behind their back. Notice how anything you do is an excuse to avoid feeling how angry you are. Because by doing that, you're hoping to dissipate it. Another example, you're really afraid of something. You're afraid because, let's just say you have you're a soccer player, you have a big game coming up. You're nervous because you don't know if you're gonna lose. One way people would avoid it is they don't show up to the game, pull sick, get into an injury, pretend to be sick, say, oh, you know, I'd, soccer's not for me, they quit the team. That's doing what you can to avoid feeling it because if they actually showed up in the game, they might actually have to feel the feeling that they have. That's avoidance. Another way people do it, projection displacing the feeling onto other people you're saying it's not mine you're doing it oh look what you're doing to me that's another way what's another way people deal with it repression you start taking drugs you start smoking weed you take mdma or you become overweight you eat so much you watch tv you get home sick in your home put on the tv don't do anything don't talk to anyone you're basically doing something to avoid feeling it now the quickest way like we said before is you just leave it alone Let's say you're really mad at someone, you know what you do? You sit there, let yourself be mad. Okay, I'm feeling mad. Sit and watch it. See how long it lasts for before it runs out. Maybe it lasts for five minutes and then it's gone. Maybe you're mad for two days nonstop and you're still feeling mad on day two. And then one hour into day two, it's gone. Any feeling you don't resist, like we said before, runs out. Why is this the case? It's exactly like the lake, the lake with ripples. You leave it alone. It has a natural system that will calm it down. Same with your emotions. Your energy naturally dissipates. What happens when you feel an emotion? It comes up, it runs through your body for an extended amount of time. It doesn't matter how long it is. It's only maybe limited, maybe at most a few days, which is rare, Only normally it's five minutes. Feeling comes up, kind of bubbles up, runs out. Energy dissipates. All energy wants to come up and leave. It wants to go. If you're mad at someone and you sit there, you notice, oh look, I'm really mad at someone and watch it be there. It runs out, it doesn't stay. It will stay if you get mad back at them. It will stay if you repress it. 
deny it. No, I don't get mad. It's okay. There's nothing wrong. I will stay if you go to the office and work 80 hours as an attempt to avoid feeling it. It will go away if you let it come off. You don't resist it. It's gone. Another way of saying this, it's like if you boil water and you put the lid on top of the water. What happens? There's a, you flick the lighter on. There's an amount of suppressed air that's in there. Eventually the lid will start to rattle. If you leave it long enough, the lid's going to fly off. Very similar to your emotions. They need an outlet. They need to come out. You see people that have mental breakdowns. You see videos of people, you know, throwing a tantrum in the supermarket or getting into a bar fight. That's <coughs> the emotions coming out because I've repressed it so much. Eventually, if you don't want to feel it, life's going to find a way to bring that up, right? If you're repressing fear, you do it for 10 years, what's going to happen? You're going to lose a car, you're going to lose your job, your wife's going to divorce you in the same week. Something's going to happen. You might get a random allegation coming up. Something will happen because you're avoiding it that your subconscious is going to latch onto or you're going to create the circumstance in your life for it to come up. Because if you don't deal with it, it's going to come up anyway. That's the bad news. So, better to do it now. Next time you feel an emotion, just leave it alone. Just think, okay. You can sit back and watch and don't touch it. What do I mean by don't touch it? Touching it is everything we said before. Touching it is suppressing it, is pretending you don't have it, is getting mad at other people. That's all touching it or trying to think around it. Maybe I need to move here. Maybe I need a vacation. It's doing something to stop yourself feeling what you're actually feeling. If you just leave it alone, you let it be there, it runs out. And when it runs out, it's not a problem anymore. You have a lighter feeling. If you're angry, you let the anger run out, you'll feel calm. If you are fearful, you let it run out, you won't feel fearful, you'll feel calm, you'll feel relaxed. So you can do this next time. Next time you're really upset about something, notice that you're upset about something. Let yourself be upset. You know, go, I don't know, go cook dinner, go uh, have a meeting, have a smoking break at work, whatever it is, go watch a TV show. But while you're doing that, you can just notice, oh, okay, I feel this emotion coming up in my psyche and let it run and eventually it will run out. And you'll prove to yourself that every emotion is limited and eventually has a limit when not resisted, it runs out. That's basically it. Very simple thing to do, but it will drastically more than anything else I can think of change your life because what is your life like without these emotions? It's a lot better, okay? It's not as stressful if you can let go of stress. It's a lot more peaceful when you don't get mad all the time. And that's the, the first side of this. The first side of this is that you don't feel negative emotions anymore. That's just the opening. What happens next, if you keep doing this, is you start feeling happier. It's like, you know, you slam the brakes on when you're in the car. First you skid for a bit, then you stop. Skidding is getting rid of all this fear you have, getting rid of all this anger you have. Once you've done that, you're in the fun part, then you start to feel happier. Like you could be doing, go to the same job you've been going to for two years, all of a sudden, you on the car to work, you realize, huh, I'm actually in a good mood right now. There's no particular reason why. That's what will happen because you start to drop all these suppressed things in your unconscious from God knows what it is, everything in your childhood that happened that you suppress. And when you do that, the world is friendlier. People seem friendly, even though they're exactly the same. They react to you differently. Uh, things don't seem as scary because you're starting to release the unconscious emotions you have. Okay, so. Try this out and good luck.